Right on the line is uh, Alex. Um, let me double check. Alex Inglot on the line. Alex, welcome to Sports in Prime on SABC News Channel. Just keep us updated. Uh, maybe give us a quick rundown. What exactly are we speaking about here? Sports radar. What do you do? I mean, you sit back at home and say, "Ah, yeah, maybe that call was a bit too dodge." What do you do actually? Uh, good question. Uh, good evening, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. Um, what we do is uh, we monitor 450 bookmakers from around the world. Uh, we receive all their odds in real time. That's about 5 billion data sets uh, every day. And we have a complex and sophisticated uh, algorithm that are based and uh, completely uh, bespoke to the sport the level uh, that we're monitoring. And those algorithms create uh, alerts whenever they see suspicious movements or suspicious uh, deviations in what the market should be showing. Once those alerts are created, then we have a team of experts. We have about 35 sprinkled between three different offices around the world. They have 72 hours to then contextualize uh, those alerts and to try and see if these need further investigation, either by the sports rights holder client or indeed law enforcement if it goes that far. Yeah. Um, uh, Alex, let me come back right there to you. I mean, we're not quite sure where, how far and when you begin, but I assume if it's for this season, you just recently started. What have you picked up, in particular the rugby, since you know, a lot of people never say rugby you know, could be match fixing you know, involved. How, how hard is it or how easy is it to fix sports in general if rugby is concerned in particular as a rugby? I think uh, it, with regard to this specific um, partnership, we would uh, strongly position this as a proactive step by the SARU. Uh, we haven't seen any concerns in rugby union uh, for betting-related match-fixing so far. But that's not to say that uh, match-fixing is something that any sport or indeed, any, or indeed rugby can take for granted and assume that it won't impact. We've seen uh, cases that are perhaps in a wider orbit where we've seen match-fixing in uh, rugby league in Australia. We've also seen uh, integrity issues with uh, Bloodgate in the English Rugby Union. So it's not beyond the, uh, the realms of possibility that match fixers could look to target sports, especially sports where the values are so strong and so positive, to try and see if they can find the vulnerable yeah. participants, whether it's players or coaches or referees, yeah. and try and get them to manipulate results and uh, generate fantastic and extraordinary profits on the global betting market. Yeah. Well, Alex Singlet, unfortunately, that's where we're going to have re to, to wrap a director of communication and sports radar. The gentleman speaking about what SA Rugby has come up with, trying to track sports betting. Well, tracking, uh, I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it, though. I'm sure we're going to have him a bit later on as well in the week. Unfortunately, that's why I've leave a lot of time. Sports Live, at SABC, or see it as it is. You can get all of us at SABC Sports Live. You can also log on to www.sabc.co.za for slash news. From myself and the team, good night. See you tomorrow.